Now we have another Target 12 Investigators exclusive. We've learned West Warwick appointed a convicted felon to its pension committee in a potential conflict with its own town charter. The appointee insists he'll serve with integrity and he cites the state constitution as allowing the appointment. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau tells us about this charter versus constitution controversy. Walt. The embezzlement case is tied to a fundraiser for a fallen police officer in Providence. And right in the middle of the controversy is West Warwick's pension fund, one of the most depleted in the state, with a funded percentage of less than 22%. A little concern on the experience with the pensions. The town council approved the appointment of Jerry Leap by a four to one vote last week, with three of the five members telling Target 12 they did not know Leet had a record. The town charter states no one convicted of a felony shall be eligible for employment or appointment to any position with the town. The state constitution includes a clause stating a convicted felon can attain an office three years after they complete their sentence. Court records indicate Jerry Leet was sentenced to three years probation and ordered to pay just over $1,100 in restitution for a 2001 embezzlement charge. A police report dug out of Leet's court file by Target 12 says he admitted taking more than $2,100 in sports items donated for the 8th annual Stephen M. Shaw Memorial Golf Tournament. Shaw is a Providence police officer shot to death on duty in 1994. Leet returned the items and paid the restitution, but a court spokesperson tells us he did not pay the $450 in court costs until last Thursday, the day after Target 12 talked with him about the case. Leet filed a motion to expunge the felony on that same day, although he also told Target 12 he has paperwork indicating the felony was pleaded down to a misdemeanor. That paperwork is not in his court file, and a court spokesperson tells us the leak conviction does not appear to be anything other than a felony. Leet, who also paid $17,000 in restitution after a no contest plea in a 2010 contractor's board case, declined to talk to us on camera. We're told the town solicitor will address the issue at next week's town council meeting. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.